Hey guys, it's Thomas and Lindsay, FTW Diesel and Diesel 10 FTL here. And today I'm going to show you my experience when I saw Christopher Robin today. So yeah, basically the plot of the film is Christopher Robin is living... No, Christopher Robin was... Living in the Hundred Acre Woods and Winnie the Pooh and his friends were having a goodbye party for him because Christopher Robin was moving away. And then he went to school and then he had a, and then he was older, he had a wife and a child and he didn't really care about them until one day Winnie the Pooh was lost because his friends went missing and he went to look for Christopher Robin so yeah so it's up to Winnie the Pooh so it's up to Pooh and Christopher Robin to save uh, Winnie the Pooh's friends and then they found them in the Forbidden Forest no, it's not from Smurfs to Lost Village. It's I can't remember the name of it, but there is scary elephants in the where Christopher Robin falls down the hole, and then he had a dream of Winnie the Pooh, and then an elephant came up, and he was trying to go and eat him, and then. Then, uh, then Christopher Robin found Eeyore, then he found Piglet, and then they saw, uh, they found Tigger, Kanga, Owl, Roo, and rabbit. And yeah. And then they were finding to Winnie the Pooh. And then Christopher Robin was gonna look for his family again. So yeah, it's up to Winnie the Pooh, Christopher Robin, and their friends to find Christopher Robin's family. And that's basically the plot. What do I think of it? It's really good. It's really one of those good Disney remakes I've seen in a while. Yeah. The movie was actually really underrated. And... This was a great comeback to Winnie the Pooh. I haven't seen Goodbye Christopher Robin yet, but I'll watch it soon. This is one of those good remakes. Yeah. This is actually the first Disney remake I actually liked. Instead of those crappy Beauty and the Beast remake. Uh, the Jungle Book. You know, I have an opinion change. The Jungle Book remake was alright. I'll plan to get it on DVD. And I'll plan to watch it. And, uh... That Alice in Wonderland remake. The Cinderella remake was alright. The Sleeping Beauty remake. Well... Don't know what to say. And the 100 Dalmatian remakes were all right. So yeah. It's not clearly a remake. But still it's a good movie. And it was a good reboot to Winnie the Pooh. Let's see if Winnie the Pooh will have this animation. And the, if they get a new TV show. Probably next year. It'd be called The Amazing Adventures of Winnie the Pooh 
or be called Winnie the Pooh and Friends. No, the title won't be a ripoff to Thomas and Friends. It's just a guess, really. But we'll just have to wait and see. We don't know if it will be good. Yeah. And my mom didn't really like it, but I'm fine with her opinion. I think my dad liked it and my sister, but I don't think my brother liked it. I'm not quite sure, but I know my mom didn't like it. But like I said, I'm always fine with their opinions. I can respect their opinions as long as they can respect mine. It's just, she doesn't like it. Yeah. So yeah. It was really good. I give it a... Well, let's say I'll give it a... 8 out of 10. No, a 10 out of 10. Because the movie was really good. And it's going to be on my top 10 favourite movies of this year. But I'll plan to do that later this year. So yeah, so that's all for now, stay tuned for some more videos coming up soon, and this is Thomas and Lindsay, FTW, Diesel, Diesel 10 FTL saying, bye for now.